there's actually like a clear kind of way that you can structure this what do medical schools actually want the next bit as to what medical schools are looking for is Everybody. so welcome back to my channel if you don't know me my name is Amelia and I'm a first year medical student I've just finished my first year so I'm going into my second year in September I'm joined by a special guest today hi guys I'm Marcia uh, Amelia and I went to school together yeah. we're quite good friends and we're doing medicine which is why I'm here so mm -hmm. I'm um, I just finished my second year and I'm going into my third year with that said let's get into this video which is all things personal statement what do medical schools actually want from you so they are essentially looking for what potential you have and what you have to offer they are looking at how teachable you are as a person obviously you're not a doctor yet they know that they know that you're not perfect because nobody's perfect they're not looking for perfection they're just looking at your potential so you need to sell the potential you have to make an absolutely fantastic doctor you have to think that this person doesn't know who you are this person who's reading your personal statement has no clue who you are and they are just reading this piece of paper so essentially you need to sell yourself and sell your personality through this piece of paper it's really important to read and write this personal statement as somebody who has never seen it before it's obviously a really difficult thing to do because as you're writing something you're becoming familiar with it and you're reading it in a certain way but you need to read it back to yourself as you've never read this before the next bit as to what medical schools are looking for is reflection they want to see that you can reflect on your experiences that you've had throughout your you know academic career so far there's actually like a clear kind of way that you can structure this reflection and we've split it up into this kind of acronym called PEER which is a bit like what you've learned in like GCSE English which is a bit like point evidence explain reflect, reflect. Anything that you do within your personal statement, don't just state it, really expand on it by using um, peer to make sure that you kind of get your point across to the medical schools and that you don't just name drop different things that you've done. It's really important not just to list a whole thing of things that you've done. I'm really sorry to break it to you. It's a bit of tough love, but they really do not care about X, Y, Z that you've done. They care about what it's taught you and how you're going to take those experiences and those skills forward and how that is going to make you a better student that is what they care about so just make sure you make your point yes make your point but the most important part is explaining and evaluating on that point and reflecting back to what it's taught you every point you make make sure you're using the acronym PEER throughout the whole personal statement from the start to the finish and you're reflecting throughout the whole thing. I can give you an example as to how you could use it. So like if you were to mention something like, I don't know, I'm interested in um, like mental health within medicine, mm -hmm. that's your point, right? Your next point would be your evidence. So maybe you can mention the fact that during your volunteering or your work experience, you had a patient encounter with mental health conditions and the different things that taught you. What it taught you is your little ex explanation and reflection. What skills did you gain from that? What what did you learn about medicine? What interested you? All of those things you're expanding and reflecting on. And how you can really further develop that is show them if it inspired you to do something further. So I remember like for my personal statement, like an encounter I had with a patient made me want to go ahead and do more volunteering with like, um, like a dementia helpline and talking to patients who are kind of isolated during the COVID, COVID COVID time so that shows that you've reflected on it and it's, it's inspired you to do something further so if you follow that format it will really allow you to just mm. get really nitty-gritty as to what the med schools want from you you're going to be doing this your whole career it is what they want and I didn't realize how big reflection was until I started med school did For you sure. like For sure. I don't think I reflected as much as I should have in my personal statement going back now but yeah just really reflect 
Reflect, reflect, reflect. And the final thing that most medical schools are looking for is the fact that you have enough skills that they they need to make you like teachable in terms of medicine, right? There are a set of skills that they really want from you. So like your communication skills, your leadership skills, um, resilience, determination, all of those things are skills that you need to be kind of not necessarily telling them about, but showing that you possess those skills throughout your personal statement. Also adding on to that, adding on to skills, adding on to experiences, you can literally use any experience do not worry about not having done enough or not being able to mention things you can literally take and experience it and mold it because it would have taught you something we did a stem project and obviously it's science based but it was to do with carbon dioxide emissions from it was something. it had nothing to do nothing with medicine. to do with medicine at all and we both mentioned it in our medical personal statement didn't we and I think we just adapted it, we molded it into mm -hmm. the skills we learned. We had to spend an evening every week mm -hmm. working on this project and that showed determination and working towards a goal and resilience, which are all skills that are, they are looking for in a person. So literally you can take any experience and anything and you can mold it just you need to talk about what you did and what you learned from it and how it would make you a good doctor it is scary but you're going to be absolutely fine you're really going to be fine you'll get there in the end mm -hmm. wish you all the best in the upcoming application season thank you so much for watching if you've enjoyed this video i'd really love it if you would like and comment down below and subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching and thank you Mashia, for all this valuable information thank you for having me and just remember guys it is tough it is difficult but you're gonna get through it we got through it so you you'll yeah. be just fine so thank you for watching and bye we'll see you in the next one